the Minnesota Zoo is one of only two state-owned zoos in the country. So that makes us pretty unique. So the mission of the Minnesota Zoo is to connect people, animals, and the natural world to save wildlife. And everything we do is about saving wildlife. We um, contribute to field research, we contribute funds to support uh, endangered species around the world. We have five wolves here at the Minnesota Zoo. Um, three are males and three are females. So the wolves that we have at the Minnesota Zoo are a family unit. Um, they are all siblings. They were rescued actually all together in a den um, from a wildfire in Alaska. A typical day for the wolves here at the zoo um, is pretty low key. They get a really large breakfast in the morning of about 1,500 grams of meat. They spend a lot of their day playing. Um, they're very playful. They have very strong social bonds. Um, so whenever you come to the zoo, you can probably see them playing with each other. Um, and then they sort of do whatever they want for the day. And these particular wolves were hand raised, so they are very comfortable around people. Um, and then of course, you know, being a keeper, going up there a few times a day, you really get to know their personalities, you really get to know um, what they like, what they don't like, and they definitely form bonds with us as well. In the wild, wolves are generally pretty weary of humans. They're not aggressive toward us by nature, so they would probably try to avoid us a little bit more than the wolves here at the zoo do. Wolves, um, in general, are habitat generalists. So they, their populations can thrive basically in any habitat in the Northern Hemisphere. So here that's gonna mean forests, it's gonna mean swampy areas, basically anywhere. In the winter, wolves are gonna enter it with thicker fur, full-sized packs, and hungry bellies. And they usually feed pretty heavily in the fall. It can be kind of hard to hunt in the winter, so they need to make sure that they can sustain those periods of inactivity with enough fat reserves. So mainly in the winter, they're gonna be hunting, uh, resting if they need to, to make sure that they can conserve their energy, um, and staying together in a pack. I think when a lot of people come to the zoo and see the wolves, they're kind of amazed at how large they are. Especially these particular wolves, you know, they're not afraid to come right up to the glass or right up to the fence and, and greet everyone. So people get a really good look at them up close, which is amazing. And you know, they look just like dogs. <laughs> they wag their tail, they wiggle their butts. They, people are usually surprised at how dog-like they really are. Wolves are a protected species in the state of Minnesota. Uh, they were reinstated under the um, Endangered Species Act in 2014. Since 2014, when they were reinstated back in the Endangered Species Act, uh, the wolf populations have continued to grow at a fairly stable number. The Minnesota Zoo is a state agency, so about a third of our operating budget actually comes from the state of Minnesota. Um, and the remaining two thirds is earned or um, donated revenue. So we get, um, some of our budget comes from people visiting the zoo or attending our programs or going on our travel programs. And a lot of it is also donated by individuals or companies. Without um, appropriation from the state and all of the donations from donors and people attending the zoo and supporting it that way, we wouldn't be able to continue to provide the exceptional care we give all of our animals, top-notch food and a lot of different enrichment treats and toys. We love the support of Minnesotans. The, the best thing to do is to just come out and visit us and that's a win-win for everybody. People can attend our education programs, our travel programs. We have a lot of local Minnesota travel programs focused on the species we have right here in Minnesota, like our wild wolf travel adventures. And you can also donate to the zoo or attend our um, events that happen year round. I encourage everyone out there to come out and visit us here at the Minnesota Zoo.